bootlegs. They have been around for a very long time. This cartridge is from the 90s and it is for the Famicom system. However, can you believe that there are still companies uh, manufacturing dedicated hardware for these 8-bit games? Enter the scene! Modern bootleg! Yeah, this is something modern I bought from AliExpress. And this is not me. This package was already like this when I received it. So it appears somebody else was trying to see what kind of treasures does it hold inside. Well, let's see it for ourselves. We have a TV cable. We have the world's shortest uh, charger. Uh, garbage. We also have this user's manual. Yeah. And here is the console itself. Well, yeah. It's very light and it's made from very, very thin plastic. What kind of battery do we have? Oh, it's one of those generic old mobile phone batteries. And get back there. But the question is, does it work? Oh, it does. We don't need to charge it. Uh, yeah, let's see what games do we have inside. Super Mario, Contra, and uh, move aside Mario Wonders. We have Mario 14 in here. <laughs> I actually wonder what is it. Mm. That definitely looks like Mario, right? That's Princess Peach. Oh, and that's Bowser, right? Well, yeah, obviously it is a ROM hack where people have taken some existing game and modified its graphics with this pixelated Mario. Uh, we can jump and we can shoot. Yeah, enough of that. Well, it claims it has 400 games in it. But I already have seen some duplicates, so it's one of these. Yeah, the game that says it has 96 games and it actually had 7 and they were repeated a bunch of times. Let's see what is a box war. Okay, I don't know what that is. Why not port the first 3D MK game to the 8-bit console, right? I actually have seen uh, ROM hacks like these before. So let's let's pick our guy and let's see how the fighting goes. Oh, actually can shoot fireballs. Yay! Punchy, punchy, kiki, kiki. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how the screen shows up on the camera, but it's it feels like it's getting dimmer and dimmer as I speak, but that's basically I believe that's because the battery is running low. Well, obviously I'm not going to look through all these games. However, you get the point. This is a cheap console that is basically playing a bunch of 8-bit ROMs. I mean, it is what it is. And actually, we can compare its size to the Game Boy Color. Well, it's actually a little bit smaller than my Game Boy Color. But do I recommend it? Uh, probably no. The funniest part about it is that I have seen uh, this guy around even in my local shops uh, for a price like 20 to 25 euros I got this from Aliexpress for roughly 6 euros and uh, I still not sure whether it was worth it well it does scratch an itch for an old school gaming however there are way better ways to do that and to be honest the screen is very small therefore it's not even easy to play these games that were meant for a like a large screen TV. 
But here it is and I hope you got something out of this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, drop a comment and maybe subscribe to my channel. Huge thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!